Good afternoon, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Thursday's trading session, the 23rd of March 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal and Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, European markets, certainly, uh, f certainly staging a rebound on the expectations of this House bill passing and going through. Also, given the FTSE certainly has shaken off the ongoing terrorist concerns uh, with regards to London, uh, given the markets generally tend to do that regardless. Uh, I can't see any historical uh, precedent with regards to terror concerns and the uh, stock markets uh, continuously moving lower. So, certainly uh, sh shaken off the concerns with regards to uh, terrorism in London. Okay, in terms of uh, US markets, certainly staging a rebound also. Okay, certainly staging a rebound on the back of. Uh, the um, expectations of the house bill certainly going through. In terms of economic data today, um, realistically, it's been uh, relatively light, nothing uh, of um, of any major importance. We did have the uh, uh, consumer confidence from Germany coming in slightly weaker than expected. Uh, business climate as well coming in for France certainly weaker than expected. Uh, Mr. Broadbent was slightly dovish, and that's why the FTSE certainly is being helped higher. Retail sales in the UK certainly stronger than expected, and CBI distribution trade survey certainly better than expected as well. Uh, jobless claims came in slightly stronger than expected, so again, exerting pressure on the dollar on the, on the lower side. Uh, Fed yelling, nothing of any major importance in terms of monetary or fiscal policy. Uh, no comments there at all. New home sales came in slightly stronger than expected. Okay, consumer confidence in Europe as well slightly better than expected. Now we're looking forward to Mr. Kashkari. I think we already know what his stance on the uh, the actual rate uh, hike going forward. Okay, now in terms of European markets, let's do a quick uh, technical uh, wrap up here. Okay, so German DAX certainly uh, slamming into that uh, 12030 zone. Okay, on the uh, on the 10 minute chart, certainly a stellar run on the German DAX. Looking at the daily chart first and foremost. Okay, so daily chart certainly has uh, flush, uh, thru, uh, certainly pushed higher. Okay, so again, I'm going to look at this in depth later on, but certainly an argument here for a uh, left shoulder head, and then the right shoulder obviously being formed. So keep an eye on that in terms of the German DAX. Okay, now let's just take the pivot high here. Let's take it to the pivot low, and we're into that Fib 61% retracement on the. Uh, German DAX, so bear that in mind, okay? Right, okay, so uh, certainly coming into resistance there, previous support equals resistance into that FIB 75% as well, so just bear that in mind. If you take the FIB, uh, if you take the pivot highs, just take the pivot high to high, uh, if we do push high, then you are looking at 12.080 resistance on the German DAX, so bear that in mind. Okay, now in terms of the French CAC here, this is a trade that I've actually already gone short on, given the fact that we're into that FIB 75% resistance now on the 60 minute chart. So therefore looking for a potential reversal and a flush lower. So just bear that in mind. Daily charts certainly still uh, very, very impressive. Uh, the, uh, the move higher continues on the back of obviously Mr. Macron gaining ground over Le Pen and Le Pen generally losing ground as well. Okay, so keep an eye on that. Again, this is a short candidate for me looking to uh, potentially flush lower on the French CAC here back down to the 5010 zone on the on the downside okay in terms of the uh, the actual uh, FTSE 100 let's just bring this up certainly in pre performing pretty stellar today given the fact that uh, Mr Broadbent obviously was more uh, dovish than everybody expected and also given the fact that uh, we have stronger retail sales and stronger CBI data so again uh, certainly look for a potential thrust high up to 7360 possibly uh, even up to uh, 7380 certainly isn't out of the uh, equation okay 60 minute chart on the FTSE 100 after given the fact that we built a base at 7310 if we do thrust higher then you are looking at FIB 38 and then potentially FIB 50% uh, retracement on the FTSE itself then ultimate 7400 resistance okay so just bear that in mind in terms of the euro stocks let's just quickly look at euro stocks last but not least okay 60 minute chart certainly is indicating a risk aversion now into that FIB 75% uh, channel, okay, 10, 10 minute chart, I'll give you an insight as well, certainly overextended from my perspective, RSI stochastics all overextended, looking to uh, flush lower and looking to test that uh, 3430 zone, okay. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.